are we recording? I think so. Hi, uh, my name's Alec. Uh, I have built some software called the Enterprise Onion Toolkit. And the point of the software is to make it really easy for people to set up an Onion site for websites that are already on the ClearNet. Um, there are a lot of reasons why you might want to do this. Uh, for instance, if somebody uh, sets up a malicious exit node in Tor, they could use it to hijack information, people trying to connect to your website, um, provide fake SSL certificates and other bad stuff like that. If you set up an Onion site, though, by yourself and advertise the presence of it, people who want to connect to you over Tor can use the Onion site and be sure of talking to the real you. Uh, so it adds integrity and assurance to the communications uh, between people who want to access your site and yourself. Um, it's alpha software at the moment. I'm speaking in early February 2017, uh, and we're doing some, or I'm doing some development on it. Um, and so I thought I'd just sort of do a little video to show people how to use it. It's really easy. Uh, you go to GitHub and sort of check out a copy of the software. I'll do that right now here. So we can do git clone that. Um, and yeah, there we are, downloaded, nice and easy, nice and quick. Uh, if I go into uh, the directory and do ls, there are some setup scripts. Uh, setup OS X, this I'm running on at the moment is a Mac. You name minus A, as you can see, it's a Macintosh. Um, if you were running Ubuntu or Raspbian, if you have a Raspberry Pi, um, and possibly Debian too, you should be able to use this script, um, which is just a, actually it's a list of instructions um, on how to set it up for um, Raspbian and Debian and Ubuntu, most of which means, uh, most of which involves just running a couple of scripts to build stuff that you will need to use. Um, I've already done that on this Mac, so it's really easy. I can just use it right now dot slash EOTK and uh, if I do status, there are no projects. I haven't set up anything yet. Uh, let's set up a project. Actually, what sh what website should we do? Uh, let's pick a website. Let's go to www.reddit.com slash r slash news. What's the top website on Reddit at the moment? Uh, CNN.com. So if I do inspect elements network I go to cnn.com what are the domains we've got there's cnn.com itself uh, waiting for the rest of the page to load come on you can load there we go cnn.com oh I saw i.cnn.com as well and cdn. CNN, i.cdn.cnn.com, lots of different domains there, but all of them are rooted under cnn.com. So what we're going to do is edit a uh, config file, vicnn.conf. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to do, uh, oops, before I do that, dot slash EOTK gen. Let's create an onion. Right, that's our onion address. Uh, so, set project CNN hard map. We have a key and we are going to hard code it. Uh, S E C R E T S dot D slash, that's where the file is held, to cnn.com. Uh, com, com. Uh, then there's also i.cnn.com, uh, cdn.cnn.com, and i.cdn.cnn.com. And we'll come back if we need to and change this if we need to. Dot slash eotk conf config. It would help if I could type straight cnn.conf um, and dot slash eotk start cnn name of the project and it will it's, the configuration step has created all the config files for nginx and tor and oh uh, that is now 
uh, started the process. So I'll just give it a second for Tor to register itself. While it's doing on, we'll also do status. Yeah, there is the de Tor daemon. There's the Nginx daemon. And if I copy that, paste into here, probably wants a, oops, control A, probably wants a dub 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 on the start of it. Uh, let's see if this has worked. Yep, there you go. It's immediately redirected to edition.cnn.com or the onion for it. And here are the, here, here's the CNN website via an onion. If we do more inspect elements, just to prove we're not cheating, we go to network and reload the page. Uh, we can see what else. That's the onion address. Uh, CDN dot. Yep, there is the onion address. We've done it all in a matter of a few minutes. Okay, so. I'm not going to do, um, stretch myself too much and risk uh, messing up what's been a fine video so far. So I'll do uh, more updates and more information, more examples in the next video. Thanks very much.